Hey, hey, it's Neil, and I just wanted to record a quick little video to show you how we're using uh, the Transcoder API and also FF Probe, which is part of FFmpeg. And the reason that I went to the Transcoder API is using FFmpeg to convert a video into something web palatable in MP4 takes an incredible amount of time. So to give you an idea, I have this convert mp4 that uses ffmpeg, and I'm going to convert uh, this this file. And this file is only two and a, uh, about two and a half minutes long. <coughs> uh, create mp4, my bad. And I just want you to look at the speed. This is um, the speed isn't even one percent so this is just going to take an incredible amount of time and this a lot a lot of this has to do with how compressed webm is and how mp4 uh, also has to be highly compressed and also the h264 uh, royalty free video codec encoder in ffmpeg is incredibly incredibly slow without and using any sort of hardware optimization and if you're on uh, Cloud Run or just a simple compute instance in GCP, then it's just not going to work. So what we've done here is we're using the uh, Transcoder API. And it's really actually not that bad. Uh, you can use that through gcloud. So instead of using ffmpeg at the command line, I'm using gcloud. And I just create a job, and I make sure that I'm passing in the original file name. And then I get an output directory. And that's where we'll put all the files. And the key thing here is you have to specify a configuration. And there's three ways to do this. And the way that I've chosen is to specify the JSON file. So I pass this in. And the way that I got this JSON file was actually to um, just run a transcoder API call without any presets and then the job config, I described that and then pasted that in and edited it down to create this. So it's essentially the SD version. The one difference is I removed the height so that the the width gets set and then the height will automatically be set based on the aspect of the original video. So that way it doesn't appear squished. And then I just get the JSON output from that. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and give this a try on our video. So let's do web friendly. And the way our jobs work at Surfy is it's um, it's creating folders on Google Cloud Storage. And this is what would be run on Cloud Run jobs typically, but I'm just running it from my Cloud Shell for developer purposes. <clears throat> and the end here, you'll see it's going to give me what the public URL will be, but this isn't there yet because the job's not finished. So what we can do to monitor the job is copy the ID from here and do gcloud transcoder jobs described, and then the ID. Oops. And you have to do control shift paste. I'm always forgetting that. And then the key thing here is you have to provide a location, which is the region. And you can see now it's succeeded. So let's go ahead and see that. That that's how fast it is. It's really that fast. So this that two and a half, two two minute forty second video is is already done. You can see the aspect ratio has been preserved, and that's how you use the transcoder API. One last little bit of sugar that we did here is um, the it's pretty picky. So if we look at this JSON again, you'll notice it's expecting a video stream and an audio stream. And so that's what it's going to create from. Uh, yeah, and so if it, it takes this mapping. The audio stream and the video stream get mapped. If you don't have an audio stream because of the way this is set up, and I'm still working on figuring this out, then it'll fail. So what we've done is we're using FF Probe, which is part of FFmpeg, to determine the number of audio and video streams. And if it's not one and one, then we just fail out early. 
and I'll, I'll have a solution to this and make another video for it. FF Probe, uh, I actually created a little script just to run this. I found this on Stack Overflow with these parameters because what we really want is we want JSON format so we can see what comes out there. So if you want an idea, let's do FF Probe JSON and then um, let's just do the one that we did here. And we'll do FF. Uh, Let's see, Clown Shell Edit. And here's what comes out from FF Probe. And there's just a ton of information. But really, the thing that we're interested in is how many streams there are, and that there's one video stream and one audio stream. There you go. And there you have it. So that's the Transcoder API. And, um, also FF Probe.